Well, ladies and gentlemen, college football getting closer and closer to that opening weekend. And for the third straight year, you can count on me to bring you Oklahoma Sooner updates, preview shows, and of course, post-game shows. But of course, as many of you know, our show goes beyond that. If you're a new subscriber, first of all, welcome. And to let you know, yes, I'm a big Oklahoma Sooner fan, but you'll find that throughout my reports, I try to be as fair and impartial as I can. Love my Sooners, hope they win a national championship, but I have an open mind as well. Let's go ahead and give you an idea. You saw my preceding video. You saw that we're going to be doing um, quite a few college football previews. Two years ago, we covered the college football preview in one episode. Last year, I felt like we needed two episodes to cover it, and this year, we have upgraded. As you can tell by my byline on this particular episode, some changes. Not wholesale changes, not a lot of changes, but some changes to enhance the show. So, this year, for the first time, we're giving all the BCS conferences their own preview show. SEC, Pac-12, Big Ten, ACC, Big East, Best of the Rest, which is the major independents as well as um, those teams from non-BCS leagues that could crush the BCS party, like TCU, Boise State, for example. Um, we're giving the BCS Busters their preview show, and for the second straight year, I'll give every Big 12 school their preview show. Oklahoma, by the way, we're going to do three separate um, 2011 previews. Part one's the offense, part two, defense slash special teams, and part three will be the schedule as we'll rank the games from easiest to toughest, and my, of course my prediction on how I think the Sooners will do in 2011. My final preview show will be called Big 12 Overview, in which we'll talk about the future of the league, and I'll highlight the five biggest games this year in the new look Big 12 Conference. Remember, it's all round robin, only 10 teams in the league, and there's no conference championship game. And for the third straight year, I'll have my weekly matchup shows, and which is a pregame. We'll talk about Oklahoma's upcoming game, which the first one will be Tulsa. Um, we'll have the pregame show in late August, and then either on game day or the game after, we'll have the postgame show talking about how Oklahoma did in that particular game. We'll do that throughout the season. Expectations are very high in Soonerland. Of course, you can uh, catch all the Big 12 preview shows coming up a little bit later on, but we're going to highlight the uh, other BCS conferences first. So that's going to be one change. Now, another change, and trust me, I love comments for the most part, even the ones that are constructive. Constructive criticism, not only do I read it, and not only do I understand, but sometimes, if possible, I'll do something about it. And this is one example. Last year, as you might have noticed, especially during the bowl game against UConn, I had one pretty lengthy pregame for the Connecticut Huskies. It took 20 minutes. So, naturally, um, one of the constructive criticisms was, we like your show, but it's too long. Can you shorten it? So, I've decided to do something about it. From now on, I will shorten my shows. Now, I'm not talking about two or three minutes, okay? <laughs> I think for some of you, that'd be a dream come true. But seriously, um, the shows will never exceed 11 minutes, and some of my shows will not even approach 11 minutes. But the one guarantee I will make, I will not have a show go past 11 minutes. Um, I understand that time is very essential, and I appreciate the time that all of you spend watching my shows, and the last thing you need to do is to be watching my shows for a very long period of time. It takes away from other things you like to do. And there's no sense in me keep you know rambling, keep talking, keep talking when I can just narrow the show down to about 10 or 11 minutes. So again, 11 minutes will be the maximum length of all my shows from now on. And that includes the conference previews as well as my OU shows. And like I said, some of my shows will not even approach the 11 minute plateau. So again, I respond to constructive criticism, and if it's feasible, um, I try to work it into my shows, and this is one example of that. So, from now on, all the way up to Oklahoma's final game of the season, the bowl game, stay right here on this very channel, YouTube, Facebook, or other outlets, um, Google, um, as well as Twitter, other outlets where you might see this show, and throughout the season, we'll bring you the latest in college football, especially Oklahoma Sooner style. 
man oh man it's been a long spring and so far a long summer but we're just weeks away from the start of what should be a pretty exciting season on the college football gridiron we'll see you in just a few days and keep in mind of course conference preview shows will be starting up pretty soon we'll start with the sec on july 6th hope to catch you back then